Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a restoration video. So today we have this neat toolbox that was sent to me by one of my viewers named Vince. Thank you Vince for sending it to me. And he was going to toss it out. Obviously it has seen better days and he didn't need it anymore. Thought it might be interesting to make a video out of it, so I agreed and I told him to send it to me. So, you can see it has obviously seen better days, and it has a few issues that we're going to have to deal with to restore this puppy. So, let me give you a little bit better view of it. As you can see, it is a simple, I don't know if you call it a single stage toolbox. It's not very deep. It's just uh, for having a few simple tools in there. It has obviously seen better days. It has a few problems that I'll show you in a moment. But there you can see the front of it, the bottom, the back, and one side and the other side. Now, a few of the problems that it has, and you see I'm wearing gloves right away because it's pretty darn disgusting. But that's okay. That's what we do here, right? We fix up disgusting stuff and make it brand new. So that's what we're going to do. The inside is not too horrible. I don't know if you can tell, if the camera will show it, but there's a big dent right here from the other side. It was something dropped on it or what have you, but this part is dented inward so I'm gonna have to push that back out and uh, let's see there's another dent right here on the lip I don't know if you can see it it's not very straight so that throws it off it's not straight this side is straight this is not and let's see a little bit of denting going on right here may all be related it may be like something hit here moved this or it was dropped here and I don't know what happened but anyway it's fairly dented and, uh, you know, I don't know if it was dented before it was sent to me or if it was dented in transit. I mean, we pay professionals to deliver stuff to us, but we never know what we're going to get, right? So, c'est la vie. It's not like it's a product that I can return because it has a warranty or something. It is what it is. I got it. I got to fix it. I got to deal with it. I don't know if you can tell right there. Big dent right there. The camera angles are a little weird, so... It may not show it in the camera, but that has to be pushed out right here. All this kind of doing one of these things. It's dipping in. And it does, you can see right there the lock, it doesn't line up properly. You have to force it to align it to get it to close. So no big deal. No big deal. We'll take care of that. That's why I'm wearing the gloves already to get started. So first of all, let's clean up some of this dirt, grime, grease, whatever this is. Let me put it in another container before I start sanding it up. Put it in here and let's get the old uh, brush and start cleaning her up. And it has a label on here from when it was purchased. I'm surprised the label has lasted that long. But the label is just the glue residue. There's nothing left there. It doesn't tell me anything at all. In fact, I forgot to mention that I have no way of telling who made this box. I don't know who it's from because it has no uh, imprints in the metal anywhere indicating if it's, you know, Stanley, Craftsman, or who knows who it is. Most metal boxes will have some kind of uh, stamping indicating who made it, but this one does not. Only increases the mystery and the challenge, but that's okay. We'll make do with what we have.
Okay, that seems to have gotten most of the grease and grime and dirt off of it. So I'm going to take this outside and clean it with some soap and water, get all the solvents off of it, let it dry, and then we'll come back and start sanding on it. So for me, it'll take a little while. For you, it'll be a few seconds. So be right back. All right, so we're back. So I finished cleaning it up with the solvent and then soap and water, let it dry, and as you can see, it is a heck of a lot better already before we start getting into it any further. Now, one thing I did notice, this handle uh, is really far gone. It is not a proper chroming uh, method that they used on it. They used like a, a fake chrome which you know with all the environmental rules nowadays that's what they have to do it's like a fake chrome it's like a wrapper that they put around the handle and it was coming off in sheets as i was uh, cleaning it up it was just peeling off it's kind of like aluminum foil but obviously much better done than that to, to look nice and shiny and look like chrome but it's not really chrome it's just a bare metal that's been wrapped and that wrapping has worn out and come off and it's just no way to bring this back Aside from painting it, it is uh, just uh, a rusty piece of metal right now. So we have to clean this up and primer it, give it a proper painting. But it's not really convenient to do that right here in this situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off the rivets, separate it from the box. That way I can clean and paint it properly by itself and then put it on the box once we're all done. So let's go ahead and attend to that right now. We'll take care of popping off those rivets. Get ready for some noise. Let me get a backing for this. I don't want to take a chance on going through and uh, damaging the surface. You can see right there <clears throat> on the bottom of it how you can see the the foil wrapping kind of coming off around the edges and stuff like that it, it was probably you know pretty and nice and shiny when it was new but with uh, use and abuse and stuff like that it just wears off there's not much you can do about it that's the way they cut costs so they can make tools uh, cheaper and more affordable but you know what I mean it is metal it will last so we can bring it back to life and make it like new again so we'll take care of that later so now, the thing we have to deal with is fixing the denting on this thing. So I've never been much of a, you know, automotive type uh, body repair kind of person. I don't know much about it, but I have a hammer, so I'm going to try it and see what uh, we can do to bring this puppy back to uh, some semblance of uh, straightness. So let's see what we can do. Maybe, let me get a block of wood.
Well, I don't know if it shows up in the camera for you guys or not, but it is 99% straighter than what it was before. It is a heck of a lot better than what it was previously when I got it. So that is, let me straighten this up. That is almost OEM, like uh, the Goon Squad likes to say. Almost OEM. Got it pretty much back to where it was supposed to be. I mean, it's not perfect, but then again, it is an old toolbox. It's not like it's a car body that you try to get it perfect. It's uh, close enough to perfect. And I don't have proper body tools anyway. This is not meant for body work. It is pretty darn good there. There you go. That looks really, really awesome. When we paint it, it'll probably look fantastic. So let's go through and do some sanding. Now considering it's not too, too far gone, I don't have too much rust and too much bare metal, I'm going to, to use uh, 200 and... Uh, 240 grit and see how that takes care of things and then we'll take care of priming it and all that afterwards. Okay guys, so here we are. This is the semi-finished result, the result after sanding and cleaning. So we're halfway there. So uh, actually, uh, note first, uh, I started sanding the handle and the supports, and then I realized I'd be better served taking it to the wire wheel. And after taking it to the wire wheel and cleaning them up, it cleaned up so nicely, as you can see, that um, change of plans, I'm not going to paint these. I may just put a coat of clear on it and leave it at that because the um, coating that it had on it, the aluminum foil, let's call it, did a good job. It protected it from uh, any pitting. The rust was superficial. So uh, the rust came off and there's no pitting. There's no real damage. The handle looks like brand new and now it's down to the bare metal. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a coat of clear on it to protect it from any potential future rust as you're you know, holding it and so forth, solvents on the hand, etc. But I'm going to leave it bare, and I'm just going to put a coat of clear on it. As for the box, I went through and I sanded it all, took care of all the imperfections and so forth, and it's nice and smooth now. 
and we're ready for paint. The inside is all cleaned up and ready to go. Now you can see I sanded every last little bit of it and uh, all the dents have been removed as you saw. So now it closes perfectly and it locks perfectly. No problems like it had before. You see no dents there on that side and that's the side that did have the dent right there. And no dent on this side but this side was already okay to begin with. And the dents on the top, let me put it this way, have been removed. I don't know how well the camera will show it, but the dents have been removed. It is nice and flat across here, where this part here had a big dip like that. So this is nice and flat. And then uh, this part here also had a bit of a dip to it. So it's pretty much 99% uh, perfect. So we're ready for paint. I'm going to take this outside, and um, I don't remember if the paint I got is primer and paint all together. I'll take a look at that. If not, we'll apply primer and then paint. We'll see how we go with that. Let me go look at the paint I got. Let's go outside and get going. Okay guys, so here we are. We have the box almost at the finish line. The handle is done and I clear coated it. I didn't show that because it's invisible. It's clear. Nothing to see. This one is already painted, ready to go. Um, painted the inside as well. As you can see, the inside is all nice and painted. So what we need to do now is put the handle back on. So I pulled out my nifty little riveting gun from Harbor Freight and let's put the, the rivets back in place. Let me line this one up first. Line it up there and let's rivet this puppy back together. Ooh. go one
Alrighty, so we're all done. I'm going to bring you down, guys down here and bring you a close-up shot of this, but we're done. I hope you like the uh, toolbox. I hope you enjoyed the video. So let's wrap this up. We'll bring you guys down and give you some shots of it. Well, do you like this restored toolbox? Well, it's yours. Well, let me explain. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this box was sent to me by a subscriber. I would like to pay it forward or return the favor, however you want to say it. I decided that I would like to reward my loyal subscribers by giving away things like this that I restore. But instead of just making it a boring giveaway, I want to make it special. In YouTube land, they say you should celebrate your milestones. So that's what I'm going to do. So to make it more special, every time I achieve a milestone, I will give away an item that has been sent to me and that I have restored. This is my way of re rewarding you guys that support me. So I will celebrate every milestone, 1,000 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, 3,000 subscribers, etc. Every milestone I achieve, I will reward one of you guys, my loyal subscribers, by giving away one item that was sent to me and I restore. So once I go through and make the item perfect, I will give it away to one of my loyal subscribers. After all, you guys are what make this channel special. You add the comments, you watch the videos, you like my videos, which is important. So this is my way of saying thanks for supporting me and making the channel stronger. So don't worry, you don't have to do anything. Every milestone, I will randomly pick one of my subscribers to send them an item that I have restored. So to be sure to like and subscribe, and you could get this toolbox in the near future. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.